Hi guys, this is actually a direct video response to the video by uh, Lizard821. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, I recommend you to first view that video because all the references which I am going to make is towards that video and you have to first watch that video. Also I recommend that you follow the, all the steps of Lizard first and uh, try to jailbreak or downgrade using that video and come to this video only if you have many errors popping up okay uh, i must tell you that uh, few days back i was also in your same situation i had uh, upgraded to 4.3.5 and found out that there was no untethered jailbreak for it and so i had to downgrade and i also had uh, uh, not saved shss blobs so i went to this video and also i had a lots and lots of errors and completely messed it up but finally i somehow figured out how to jailbreak and uh, this is are the steps actually uh, which i did to jailbreak my airport and okay um, i'm going to say them now actually the first few steps are the same as that of lizard 821s that's uh, exactly about 4 minutes 20 seconds up to 4 minutes 20 seconds of lizard 821 everything goes fine that is uh, you have to actually uh, uh, a backup and download the firmwares and the files modify the host file and also open red snow and jailbreak uh, using it uh, until that everything goes fine but the differences start now that uh, unlike lisa told that it would actually be in recovery mode i was not in recovery mode instead i went to the home uh, i had the home screen open and there was a cdi icon which was actually uh, white in color and crashed on opening and so uh, I knew that something had gone wrong but uh, since uh, Lisa told that it was supposed to be in the recovery mode I just pushed it in recovery mode if you also having same problem you can uh, push your phone to recovery mode by using tiny umbrella in tiny umbrella you have uh, when you connect you have an option to enter into the recovery mode and um, you can enter that uh, recovery mode using it uh, once you are in the recovery mode you, are, you are, will actually have to try to uh, downgrade to 4.3.3 and uh, the same way as the, uh, as lizard told that shift plus enter and uh, select the firmware you have downloaded but i again unlike uh, lizard told i actually didn't have any errors in restoring actually and uh, i got my ipod restored but now i uh, saw that it doesn't have any uh, CD icon and also the firmware the firmware was full of glitches and I had to restart it a many number of times now I just opened iFaith and ran it in DFU mode actually it's very important to run it in the DFU mode uh, it's very important that you know the difference between DFU mode and recovery mode and I hope most of you will know but if you don't know I am uh, doing another video on that and check that out if you don't know otherwise most of you will know uh, the difference and you have to run iFaith in the DFU mode itself and uh, in one of itself uh, it will steps it will ask uh, where to, uh, to save your SSH blobs and you can uh, save that you can also now uh, run tiny umbrella and uh, you will be able to save your ssh blobs using tiny umbrella also after these steps i really tried to uh, follow the steps by lizard e21 but uh, for me things got really really messy and uh, most of the time i use the custom built ipsw by uh, ultra snow uh, it would give me many errors and things won't happen so uh, i had to look for other alternatives uh, so uh, then i just recognized that i uh, actually had a firmware and i had the sssh blobs saved by tiny umbrella for 4.3.3 so uh, the things became just simple uh, i could just use the conventional method to downgrade my uh, a firmware and I tried and uh, fortunately that worked uh, now that you have the SSH blobs it is very easy for you to downgrade using any other method and you can try that out and I am also uh, giving one of such links in my description you can check that out and, uh, and the things are basically just same as uh, the step 4 uh, given in this video and you can run red snow uh, and um, jailbreak using that and uh, after that if you 
go to iTunes in recovery mode and shift plus enter and select on to the custom, uh, firmware 4.3.3 once you have done that, you will find that uh, your iPod will uh, get restored to 4.3.3 with Syria installed and uh, that would work and uh, actually that's what worked for me and I hope most of you will have uh, it worked too. Okay, also I have some tips for you guys uh, that uh, in Windows you have to uh, and disable all sorts of firewall and also disable any kind of antivirus actually I had to uninstall my antivirus to get this done and I advise you to do the same also as Lisa told uh, it's better to run and the uh, apps in the uh, Windows XP compatibility mode that would also help okay that's pretty much it I hope this video helps you guys uh, thanks thanks for watching